Hi everyone, my name is Kat and I'm on the integration team here at Bitwarden. In this demo, we'll review the features of the Bitwarden password manager that will make it a key tool for securing your business. Let's start by discussing how Bitwarden can make your online experience safer, faster, and more enjoyable. Bitwarden offers a flexible, trusted, and customer-centric solution that makes it easy to integrate with your existing systems. Using end-to-end -end zero knowledge encryption, Bitwarden can help you achieve your security, compliance, and regulatory needs, and make it easy for both end users and administrators to adhere to your company's security policies. Let's take a moment to explain zero knowledge encryption and how it can benefit you and your company. Zero knowledge encryption ensures that all vault data sent to Bitwarden cloud servers or self-hosted servers is fully encrypted. Bitwarden does not have knowledge of your master password or encryption key, and all decryption occurs on your local device, ensuring no one at Bitwarden has access to your unencrypted data. So, how does this work in practical terms? Let's show an example where a vault is being encrypted by a master password. First, a user requests access to their vault on either one of our cloud-hosted servers or your own self-hosted server. Then this vault, as an entirely encrypted entity, is sent to the user's local device. When it arrives, the data is still 100% encrypted. Lastly, the user enters their master password, which kicks off the decryption process, and only then can the user access any unencrypted data. This is what is meant by zero knowledge. Your data is secured with your unique user key, which the service provider doesn't know, ensuring only the owner of the data can access any unencrypted data. This security model sets up encryption and data segregation in a way that's designed to keep your information secure and make data breaches irrelevant. Now that we've discussed why your company should choose Bitwarden, let's show you how it works. Bitwarden offers GDPR compliant cloud hosting services in both the US and the EU, with the unique ability to self-host Bitwarden on your own server if you prefer. Both options allow you to have all the same great features of the Bitwarden password manager, while allowing you to have complete control over your own instance. Both options have the same pricing based on the number of user seats. Bitwarden is available as a browser extension for most of the popular browsers, as a desktop application for Windows, Mac, and Linux, as a web application that does not require any installation, on mobile for both iOS and Android, and as a CLI for developers. Regardless of which Bitwarden client or app you choose to use, all of your data will sync effortlessly, giving you convenient, secure access on all the devices that work best for you. Enterprise customers have two primary options for decrypting their data. Using a master password or leveraging your existing identity provider for single sign-on with trusted devices. Both of these options use zero-knowledge end-to-end encryption, which ensures that both Bitwarden and your identity provider can't see any of your vault data, including information like URLs that other password managers didn't always encrypt. Once you're signed into Bitwarden, all other logins can be seamlessly used to autofill usernames and passwords for other sites, making it easy to create and save complex passwords for every third-party site you need access to. But that's not all Bitwarden can do. Let's take a quick look at how your data is stored in your Bitwarden vault. Bitwarden stores your sensitive information as one of several item types, including logins, cards, identities, secure notes, and SSH keys. Logins can be used to store usernames and passwords, pass keys, TOTP keys, and other information related to login. Cards can be used to securely store credit or debit card information. Identities can be used to store any information about a person or a place, such as your own address or the phone number of an important contact or vendor. Secure notes can be used to store any plain text or data that does not fit into the previous item types. And finally, SSH keys can be stored as an item type as well. 
These item types can all be securely used with Autofill to make everyday tasks a breeze. Each item type has the ability to support custom fields, so you can adapt to each specific login requirement. Bitwarden will store your items in one of two places, either in your individual vault or your organization vault. In your individual vault, represented by My Vault, you can securely store items just for your own purposes. For example, information that you need for your day-to-day -day work, but that does not need to be shared with others. In your organization vault, typically named after your company, you can utilize collections to share items with your colleagues. You can think of these collections as shared folders that belong to the organization rather than any one person. Access to each of these collections can be defined to ensure that users only have access to the information they need. Beyond giving you easy access to your data, Bitwarden also allows each person to customize their view using favorites and folders. Favorites show up at the top of your browser extension for easy access to your most used items, and folders allow you to organize any data you have access to, similar to bookmark folders you might have in your browser. Just like bookmark folders, these folders are just for you and are not seen by anyone else. Just to clarify the difference between folders and collections, with folders, I sort out items for my own viewing purposes, which can include both my individual vault items and my shared organization items. But collections are owned by the organization and I only have access to the collections for which I'm given permissions or that I've created if I have that privilege. Bitwarden allows you and your users to import data easily with support for over 40 different import options. This makes it easy to transition from any previous solution, whether you are using a dedicated password management software or your browser's built-in password manager. With each import type, Bitwarden provides step-by-step -step guides to make the process easy for any skill level. If you want to create a new login for a website, you have two options to open the new item dialog. If you don't have any items for the site, you can click on New Login in the Autofill dropdown or you can always go to the browser extension and click on New and select Login in the dropdown. Here we can generate a username and a password, add our authenticator key for TOTP codes, add notes or custom fields, organize the item for our own view, and decide where this item should be stored. You can select your own email to store the item in My Vault or your organization's name to store it in your organization. When deciding where to store the item, you can choose to add it to one or multiple collections. For example, you may need to share the Office Wi-Fi password with the whole company, while the login for customer emails might only need to be shared with the support team. Another great feature is Bitwarden Send. It's an easy way to securely share ephemeral encrypted notes or files with anyone, whether or not they have a Bitwarden account. Bitwarden Send supports files up to 500 megabytes or up to 10,000 characters of text. You have a variety of options to secure your data, such as hiding the Send's text by default, if sharing a password, choosing a deletion date, limiting views, or adding a password. When accessing the link, your choices will be enforced, and if using a password, no data will be available until the correct password has been entered. This is a great option when sharing information temporarily with a colleague or vendor without sharing the contents in plain text. Bitwarden allows your users to not only maintain best practices for security at work, but also at home. With the Bitwarden Enterprise Plan, users can also redeem a free families plan for personal or home use. You can redeem this from the Bitwarden web app by using your personal email. This is an entirely separate Bitwarden account with its own vaults, but the sponsorship allows you to take advantage of the premium benefits of Bitwarden and securely share vault data between yourself and up to five friends or family members. 
you can easily switch back and forth between your personal and business accounts using account switching in the browser extension, mobile, and desktop apps. If you leave or are removed from your organization, you always keep your data. You can choose to keep the premium features of the family's plan and your payment method on file will be charged at the next annual billing cycle, or you can always downgrade to a free plan. Now let's take a look at administration. All admin tasks will be performed from the Bitwarden web app. You can navigate to the admin console using the nine box at the top right, or by clicking admin console on the bottom left. As an enterprise organization, admins can onboard users in one of three ways, just in time using single sign-on, automatically with skim provisioning or directory connector, or manually. Using login with SSO, Enterprise customers can leverage their existing identity provider to authenticate users with Bitwarden using the SAML 2.0 or OpenID Connect OIDC protocols. The Bitwarden approach to login with SSO is unique compared to other password managers in that it maintains a zero-knowledge encryption model. No one at Bitwarden has access to your vault data, and similarly, neither should your identity provider. That's why login with SSO decouples the authentication and decryption steps. In all login with SSO implementations, your identity provider will not have access to the decryption key needed to decrypt vault data. You can choose to decrypt your data with either a master password or trusted devices. SSO with trusted devices allows users to authenticate using SSO and decrypt their vault using a device stored encryption key, eliminating the need to enter a master password. This creates a smoother login experience for users and ensures there is one less thing they need to remember. Note that with trusted devices, admins and owners must still establish a master password for break glass purposes. As long as the user has been assigned to Bitwarden in your identity provider, they can be provisioned just in time simply by logging in. Bitwarden also supports skim provisioning to automatically provision and deprovision users and groups. Note that unlike some other products, Bitwarden skim provisioning does not require a skim bridge. Bitwarden also offers a tool called Directory Connector, which can allow you to sync with your identity provider or your local LDAP-based directory. This allows for greater flexibility in supported identity providers and also facilitates syncing if you choose to host Bitwarden completely offline. In addition to adding users with your identity provider, Admins can also add users manually. To ensure the security of your organization, Bitwarden applies a three-step process for onboarding a new member. The user is invited to join the organization. They accept the invite via email. Then they are confirmed into the organization by an admin. When inviting a user to join the organization, you can invite up to 20 users at a time using their business email. Select the member role to be applied to the new users. Member roles will determine what permissions these users will have at an organizational level. Custom roles provide enterprise organizations with the greatest flexibility as you can mix and match permissions to ensure least privilege access. Note that only an owner can invite new owners or assign the owner type to an existing user. In order to ensure business continuity, Bitwarden recommends creating at least two owner accounts. Groups relate together individual members and provide a scalable way to assign permissions for specific collections. When onboarding new members, you can add them to a group to have them automatically inherit that group's configured permissions. Bitwarden groups can sync existing identity provider groups using directory connector or skim. This ensures that as users move from one group to another in your IDP, permissions are automatically adjusted in Bitwarden. Collections gather together logins, notes, cards, and identities for secure sharing within an organization. Organizations control access to organization-owned items with collections by assigning permissions to users or groups. 
When creating a new collection, you can choose to visually nest the collection beneath an existing collection. This provides additional context for users, but does not grant permissions inheritance. If you want users with access to the parent collection to have access to the new collection, you must also add permissions for it. User succession can be managed automatically using skim or directory connector or manually in the web vault. There are two options for removing member access to your organization, revoking or removing a user. Revoked users keep group membership and any policies intact in case you want to restore the user. For example, if the user is on leave of absence or if they are a seasonal employee. Once a user is completely removed from the organization, if access is needed in the future, they would need to be onboarded again. As an admin, you have all the same options for import as a user, with the additional ability to migrate shared folders or vaults from your previous solution directly to new collections in Bitwarden, allowing for a seamless migration process. Enterprise organizations can implement a variety of policies designed to lay a secure foundation for any business. Some of the most commonly enabled policies include the Account Recovery Administration Policy, which allows admins to recover enterprise organization user accounts and restore access if an employee forgets their master password. The Master Password Requirements Policy can be enabled to enforce a configurable set of minimum requirements for users' master passwords above and beyond the 12-character minimum required by default. Similarly, turning on the Password Generator policy will enforce a configurable set of minimum requirements for any new passwords generated inside Bitwarden. The last policy I'd like to highlight is the Vault Timeout policy. Vault Timeout determines how long Bitwarden can be inactive before timing out and the Vault Timeout action occurs. This functions similar to a desktop lock where you can enforce organization-wide timeout policies to force users to re-authenticate after a certain amount of time has passed. Bitwarden offers various reports for both users and admin to help identify security issues, whether checking your stored passwords against known data breaches or identifying reused passwords. Bitwarden makes it easy to identify and address security gaps, keeping your business secure. Event logs are timestamped records of events that occur within your organization. With over 60 different event types recorded and stored indefinitely, Bitwarden allows for comprehensive insights for your security and compliance needs with the ability to filter by member or item right inside the Bitwarden UI. These logs can be integrated with your existing SIM tools to help you track and monitor events in real time. We've covered a lot today, but if you have any further questions, additional resources are available in the Bitwarden Help Center, the Bitwarden Learning Center, or check out Bitwarden for yourself by starting a free seven-day trial. Thank you for your time today. We look forward to helping you achieve your security goals with Bitwarden.